Jeff Scott Soto says he would have been better accepted by the Journey fans if the former Journey vocalist Steve Perry was no longer with us. Soto, who previously sang with Yngwie Malmsteen, joined Journey about a week and a half into a six-week summer 2006 tour with Def Leppard. After Steve or Jerry began having vocal issues, Soto had earlier worked with Journey guitarist Neil Sean and drummer Dean Castronovo in the short-lived side project Soul Circus. Journey named Soto its permanent lead singer in December 2016 before firing him just five months later. Jeff discussed his time with Journey during an appearance on a recent episode of the Breaking Absolutes with Peter Aurelian podcast. He said, One, one of the, the hardest parts about singing for Journey, okay, first of all, replacing Steve Perry. Steve or Jerry already had that task. But now I had the task of replacing the guy who replaced the guy. Yeah. Now, if it were Queen, if it were a situation like Queen or ACDC where the, the singer's deceased, there's no way that singer's ever going to sing those songs again. So for the band to forge on, they have to get a new singer. Stop whining, stop bitching, stop moaning. The band's moving forward with a new singer because their original singer is no longer with us. Right. Steve Perry was alive and well. Nobody knew his whereabouts. Nobody knew if he was recording. But all he ever said was, I'm retired from singing, retired from performing. But in the fans, especially the Fairweather fans who are not watching all the, the blabbermouths and all the all the talk and all the, the gossip, the Fairweather fan just, they'll come to a Journey song and all they'll say is, that ain't Steve Perry, because they don't even know he hasn't been in the band for 20 years. Yeah. All they know is, who's that guy? What, this ain't Journey, what's going on here? You know, they feel duped. Yeah. So that was probably the hardest part about singing for Journey for me, was going on stage every night when a good portion of the audience is going, wait, Steve Perry's alive. He can still sing, I bet. Why isn't he doing this? Why do they Why do they have this guy? Yeah. And that's, if Steve Perry were no longer with us, I think it would have been a little easier transition. Perry sang on many of Journey's best known hits, including Open Arms, Wheel in the Sky, Don't Stop Believing and Who's Crying Now. Two years ago, Soto told the Robcast podcast, that performing Journey's classic songs originally sung by Steve Perry was no easy task. To me, it, it was difficult. It was really, really difficult to adapt. First of all, my voice was already kind of going through its changes. If I had gotten that Journey gig even five years earlier, I would have destroyed, I would have just killed the, the, the range, the level of the intensity of what Perry left behind. But the, the, real, the biggest problem with adapting to journey and being their singer was the fact that steve perry was alive and well it's it's a totally different situation when you have like say queen for instance and you queen want to continue they they clearly have to get a different singer but if their singer is deceased you know there's no chance of freddie mercury coming back when steve perry's just sitting in his backyard sipping on some kool-aid and you're on stage trying to pull his shit off you got a lot of people just gonna they're gonna bag on you because we don't want this. We want Perry. Why doesn't Perry come back? This this is bullshit. We want Perry. You know, and I had to deal with a lot of that, as I'm sure uh, Jerry had to, and even Arnell had to. If Perry's alive and well and, and has got a voice, why isn't he out there? That's always the big question. So you got to battle that. You got to make it your own. You got to pull it off every night. And another thing is, when Perry was on tour back in the heyday of Journey, they they would do multiple nights. They would just kill the guy's voice with so many dates. But Perry wrote that stuff. He created that stuff. So he could skirt around the original melodies. He could skirt around some of the high notes. But when you're somebody replacing Perry, you got to do exactly like Perry. You're going to get crucified. You oh, got to totally. nail every one of those notes the way those people expect to hear it. Or they're going to say, you suck. Why are you, why are you even fronting that band? So yeah, it's, those are big shoes to fill with, with any band with, with even Bruce Dickinson had to go through it. Fill, you know, replacing Paul Diano. Brian Johnson had to go through it replacing. I can go, the list goes on and on. But with a band that has a legacy sound like Journey and the band's basically living off that legacy sound, they weren't trying to recreate or trying to reinvent themselves. They were basically just out there to, to do their catalog. That's a tough gig. That's a tough position to be in for anybody. Asked if Journey ever made him an official member of the band, Jeff told the Robcast podcast. In December of... 2006 when the entire Def Leppard run was done for the year 
there was an official press release that they inducted me as their permanent singer at that point. And, um, and this yeah. is this is the part that like kind of pisses me off still to this day because there is zero mention, there is zero attention brought to the fact that I was even in the band and I did those tours. You look at the Journey website, I don't exist. My name is not there. It goes from Perry to Jerry to Arnell. It's like it's like it didn't exist, and that it's kind of strange. How can that not exist when I have I have photo clippings? I have I even still have URL sites that show you when that when I was uh, officially made a member of the band, and then for for them to act like it didn't exist or to to say that they wanted the signature sound and I was only supposed to be uh, a hired gun and just to get them to the tour, that kind of bums me out, man, because have at least enough respect to to tell the truth or to even sugarcoat and say yeah jeff was a permanent member of the band but we realized as we were going into that that it was it was the decision we had to change and that's why we we moved on or eventually got our now whatever because i man i i have it i i've heard i was in the background listening to neil doing interviews when we were doing the european tour saying i was their new singer and that we can finally get past the ghost of steve perry and blah 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 i was there i heard all of that and to not have that acknowledgement now, it just hurts. Thank you for tuning in, and please hit that like button, it's appreciated. Make sure that you subscribe for more rock-related content.